introduce Amir Taki. Finally, finally speaking on the conferences. You were starting with the banking system in Mesopotamia and finishing with the ZK protocol and something like that. Yeah. So you are passionate about both of these subjects. Are they somehow connected? Uh, yeah, like we, um, the the I, all of the cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and so on originate um, with the communities of the cypherpunks and the crypto anarchists and a crypto anarchy or like cypherpunk movement. Their aim was to use the tools of cryptography to allow uh, this like allow the like voices or like different marginalized communities to exist free from coercion, external coercion. So um, the crypto anarchy is about using cryptography as a technique that can allow like what we call an alliance of democratic forces to um, be able to operate free from coercion. That is so cool. So you're using this like ideology and philosophy in your project that you're working on right now. Tell me about that. Yeah, so um, we're really into the ideas of agorism, which um, uh, Ross Ulbricht's favorite book was Alongside Night, which is about a group of revolutionary agorists or like libertarians in America that overthrow the government through, through market trade. Um, so we see that like creating the tools to empower uh, people with uh, p people to um, use use economics is is uh, very important, uh, and also the there is like a nascent emerging kind of philosophy mm -hmm. inside of crypto <laughs> community. So we want to kind of bring new concepts to to expand that. What are the obstacles and the difficulties to achieve that? The main obstacle um, in achieving our vision is um, the. There is, there is a crackdown coming by uh, states and law enforcement against crypto. Already they made this new set of laws in Europe which um, forbid any anonymous non-KYC wallet. So um, what we, so and, and now pretty much in Europe the last safe haven is Switzerland which has, the, which has like a very kind of like open laws, but it's not part of the EU. But um, all around the world, actually, governments are like tightening or turning up the heat on a cryptocurrency because there is a large amount of uh, capital flight going from the fiat world into crypto, and it's it's actually increasing. So um, go uh, governments or like central banks rather feel the need to kind of compete, and they are um, rushing to create these central bank digital currencies um, and um, and also the all of the things like that they talk about like incentives like UBIs are an airdrop uh, basically to encourage people to move over this um, centralized uh, econo economical system um, you know which will probably in the future integrate features of the Chinese like social credit scoring. China's basically set a standard that the rest of the world is, is kind of rushing to, to uh, catch up with because they see that China is being so successful at beating them at their own game basically. Mm -hmm. So China's kind of become the model that other countries are trying to copy from. Oh, wow, okay. Well, what is your next big step in the roadmap? And when are we going to see like some tangible results of your project? Like uh, yeah. open presentation, public website, like everything. When? Yeah, so we're working on this project, DarkFi. It's, not, it's kind of public, but not really public right now. Mm -hmm. um, but we are uh, pretty soon in like, we're, we're still finalizing like our, our kind of go-to market strategy. Like, uh, like, you know, like once you start talking about it, things will grow really quickly. So um, I'm, yeah, so now we're like just putting the final touches to that. And then we're going to kind of launch a product probably in like two months, but I say two months, but, you know, software development can often go over time to four months, five months, etc. cetera. So, um, so I'd take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, but then we're going to launch this uh, public test net, which will allow anybody to kind of start using our software to start um, basically just putting money in and taking money out. But we, we want to offer like uh, um, staking so people can already put their 
their stake in and then also um, some kind of governance structure for people to make decisions about the projects and you know like uh, you know be able to execute on that what are the blockchain and crypto projects that you believe the most apart from your own project uh, so yeah I think uh, NIM projects which is bringing uh, network layer anonymity um, is going to be like we need to going to have some kind of mix net in any of these anonymous yeah. protocols to hide the network traffic so technologically I think that's a very strong project uh, another project I think is interesting is Hydra DX they're very smart like financial engineers um, they've they're working on what's going to be the largest li liquidity layer for Polkadot network um, so they have um, a very innovative AMM design um, they're also working very closely with uh, block science which is doing a lot of uh, token engineering economic simulation type stuff um, yeah there's a lot of interesting stuff also uh, yeah coming out of um, so I think Mina protocol is also very interesting they have mm -hmm. this uh, succinct blockchain that's like instant sync and very small download 22 kilobytes they, they use um, ZK proofs um, another and also another project is Hermes they're, as far as I know, the only working ZK roll-up solution on ETH that currently exists. Um, and also, like, um, there's a bunch of interesting DeFi projects, such as uh, Olympus style, that have a very interesting governance structure. You know, all, all of the new kind of um, uh, theorizing uh, around different AMM curves, um, like how you can do like a liquidity bootstrap protocol, et cetera. It's, it's an emerging nascent scientific field, <coughs> the token engineering and DeFi stuff. Awesome, thanks a lot. And the last most mainstream question, just to wrap it up, what is the Bitcoin prediction? Um, Let's say for the new year of 2022. Yeah, I think it can go either, either way. Um, right now it's kind of been promising because um, it's like it's, it, it just went up recently, but uh, I was saying before, like our thesis when we last evaluated was that uh, if Bitcoin went down further, it would probably uh, mm -hmm. uh, keep going down and would enter a bear market phase. Mm -hmm. However, saying that, we were also looking that um, um, a lot of um, yeah, a lot of smart contract platforms were uh, coming out this summer with like a lot of very good strong projects. And a lot of them still haven't launched. So it's going to lead to the price increase. You yes. Think, yeah? The thing is, they bring more money into yeah. the network. And that money comes through Bitcoin as well and also boosts the price of Bitcoin. A lot of people think it's zero sum, but it's not. Like, actually, mm -hmm. it adds value to the ecosystem. <laughs> so what is the number? Let's yeah, so New year 2022, number Bitcoin price. Yeah, so I think it, like, like it's tempting to go The Bitcoin is around 40K now. And, mm -hmm. you know, they could hit, like, or like 100k or like you know something ridiculous but um we have to also think that people will uh we ha already had a fomo cycle this year so a lot of the public feels burnt you know so and you know we were actually looking at like uh, 100k we actually exited at 55k mm -hmm. luckily we were looking at 100k but actually it turned it like went a lot earlier around 60k mm -hmm. so usually like other people that are thinking that price point you it's it's good to maybe like temper it down a bit because then you anticipate before other people start leaving but we actually don't my our kind of strategy will be like we're not actually like long bitcoin right now we're like logging other assets mm -hmm. but we do use bitcoin as a signal indicator like where to exit kind of positions so probably i'd okay. if i'd start toning down around 80k like i'd start getting like cold fee if things got that high you know no. well in any case we're expecting new all-time highs for bitcoin pretty soon right pretty soon, pretty soon. <laughs> nearly the end of the year like <laughs> yeah. i don't know about that okay thanks so All much right. Good thank talk. you